Francis G in the radio. Who is calling? What's up? It's the Kid 50. Oh, oh. 50 Cent. Live from Las Vegas? SK. Yeah, we're in Vegas. Yeah, I, got, I got out here. Yeah, you holding the champ yeah. down out there? Yeah. Can we get a hand clap for 50 Cent, though, mm-hmm, real quick? Please. Uh, yo, 50. Yeah. Yo, can can you uh shout out how many people you fed for the first week sales in SK? Uh, 2.5 million. Holy wow. shit. Wow. That's amazing. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm achieve the billion kids that I sell my feed. You know, a billion meals. And I'm working with the the, the uh, World Food Program. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's one of the most respectable organizations you can work with like if you have a uh, uh, earthquake in haiti that they're, they're the support mm. or tsunami in japan like it's around the world that's where what america would utilize right as you know the company to go to to deal with and i kind of got them where, where those proceeds can go to that pro to that organization okay more hand clap please more hand clap, got, no gunshots today not not for fair. <laughs> No, no more. Yeah. No, we we can't put that side on. The table, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's one for one. So every time they purchase, that's okay. The, the a child is being fed. You know what I mean? I, I went to Africa. When you see it mm. up close, mm-hmm. it, it's it's a whole different thing from you seeing commercial. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it, it, you'll be affected by it. if you have anything in you. Because I live with the next us. Right. So you look at you got to look at yourself after you see that much. Damn. Mm-hmm. That wow. is that bad when someone, you know, don't even know it, when or if they're going to get their next meal. Right. Mm-hmm. And Fifth, you you you, uh, you have talked about this. Uh, first of all, let everybody know, if whoever's just tuning in, an SK product is a five-hour energy drink. Yeah, six hours. Oh, six, six hours. hours. Okay, yeah. pardon me. And, and, and the flavors? It's grape and uh, orange mango. Yeah, I tasted the orange mango. Yeah, everybody likes yeah. the orange mango. Like, mm-hmm. Crazy. But, I mean, it's a good project, and I, I think that... I'll be successful with this, like my other ventures. But I, I also, you know, I think it's it, it's exciting to lead and and implementing this actual business model. So my peers, not just artists, you know, within the artist community that's doing brand extensioning, but other young entrepreneurs could utilize this business model. If just one percent of business was given to uh, to uh, charitable organizations, we would alleviate all of. Uh, extreme poverty around the world period wow mm-hmm. wow you know what i mean so it's, it's just when you look at like companies that seem like they're monsters like google that google's 10 years old that's still a baby you see what i'm saying and wow if this model was implemented at that point how much would have been solved with just that one company mm. when you got majority shareholders of these companies that have a, over 55% of it, what's, what's 1%? How many yachts? How many, you know, helicopters or private planes you want? <laughs> yeah. you, you end up in that area where you start to look at things that matter, yet your happiness matters the most. Right, right. And, and being and finding a way to be content at some point, because you can make a few hundred million dollars and you're still hustling like you don't have no money. Mm-hmm. And you, when you work to, like... It becomes habit. Like my, I'm uncomfortable when I'm sitting still. Like if there's nothing going on, I feel like I'm 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 messing something up. Mm. Mm. That's real. You know, so gotta have different projects. But in evolving yourself in philanthropy or but being humanitarian on some levels would be that thing that you'd never misutilize that energy. Mm. And, never and, too much you can actually do. You know, so. I mean, it's exciting. You, you, you can see I'm growing in different areas because I've been exposed to different things. I've traveled, been able to interact with people from different ethnic backgrounds to give me a different insight and perspective on everything. Like, when you're in that little bubble, you, you know what it is. Like, you're just in your neighborhood. You live what what the means of survival are right there. Right. So when you get a chance to go outside and see different things, you don't even have, you know, view people the same. And you're you've you you're definitely an artist that has probably touched every side of Africa <laughs> as far as going out there. Oh yeah, I traveled that all over Africa. Yeah. Wari, Nigeria, Angola, um, you, Morocco. You, mm-hmm. You've met Nelson Mandela. Malia. Huh? You've you've met uh you know the leaders out there, Nelson Mandela, everybody. Mm. You, you yeah, touched, yeah. You definitely I mean, touched it's that. Not, it's, it's not it's not just about Africa, even America we have issues. Mm-hmm. You know yep. what I'm saying? So it's just to participate in it in different ways, like 
Usher, Usher reached out. He has interest in malaria. Right. And he's previously been a part of some projects like that. Uh, I'm sure in the future he'll have a, a, a venture similar business model wise because I've, I've had communication. So you'll start to see different Justin Bieber, uh, Lady Gaga, Drake, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like people that have expressed interest in implementing that type of structure to their deal process, not actually doing a deal or supporting SK in that way, but they understand the motivation for it. Right. Wow. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It, this is extreme. This is yeah. extremely serious because you're going to the United Nations soon with this whole situation, right? That hasn't been announced, asshole. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, I, Viv, I have a question. Um, what What are your feelings on just like you know the news and a lot of these media outlets? They're not covering you know what you're doing. I don't think that they're covering it you know yeah, the way they yeah. should. Do yeah. you feel that that's because there's a bias because you are a hip hop artist and because you've had like negative you know events well, associated with your name in the past? Well, you 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 know what ne- negative events if you've seen it with. Even the most conservative people you mm-hmm. can point to. You know what I mean? So it's not that. I mean, within hip-hop culture, you've never had anyone uh, make the decision or decide to do it on this extreme of a level. Right. But you'll see it, it'll be gradual because I'm not... Like, if you did it for publicity, you should be upset. Mm-hmm. Right. You don't see the coverage the same. You know what I'm saying? When, when you've done it genuinely because you're making a decision to move in that direction, the people that count, it affects them. Mm-hmm. The people that are already in that actual conscious of, of trying to su- support and uh, to remember those that are easily forgotten they they are uh, aware of your interest and your efforts mm-hmm. right. the I- people that you know day to day that's just doing what they're doing they're conscious of other things like you know like London's riots are, are get more coverage than famine in Africa. You got a, a, a kid dying every six minutes mm. since we've been talking we've been talking longer than six minutes right you know, so uh, since I started this interview, since they heard me, my voice on the air, this conversation has been running for eight minutes and 47 seconds. My phone is counting. Right. So we did, they lost a child since we've been talking. Wow. Mm. Wow. It's serious. It's serious. Yeah. And, uh, and even our, our own Joy Daly did a. Uh, uh, she went out in the streets and asked the people, like, how do you feel about 50 not getting the kind of coverage? You know, you do get a lot of backlash out there. And, I, and I've seen, I, I think for us, we take it a little bit more personal because you, you've done stuff for the neighborhood. Like, mm. you go hard. You know what I'm right, saying? But you can't, you got people that are small minded. They're limited. Like, they're not, you can't expect the entire general public to, to understand what they're looking at. And when people confuse, confusion, or not knowing is what makes people angry. Right, right. You know, we're not understanding what you're looking at is what they, they get pissed because they don't know what that is. Right. Turn it off. Damn. Like, you know, like they'll look and say, you did what? That's a scam. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you don't understand why. You, they haven't made it to the point that they have the things that create a comfort to it. So much of it that you're looking around going, what, what do I actually need? Versus, like, why do I want the next thing? Why do I want another watch? Right. I got 10. I'm fine with that. Mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So for the new proceeds, the new income and different things that happen, for you to connect it, and it's not telling people, give all, go give your money to charity. Go give everything you have, everything you work for to charity. But to implement this actual business model moving forward, if, if everyone adapted to it, then it would start fixing itself. Mm-hmm. It's obvious the government right. ain't going to fix it. Right, right. Right. Do you think that um, you're going to have that type of influence on other hip hop artists so that, you know, more people Absolutely. are involved Absolutely. in well, they're, they're following me in interest, seeing the income off of vitamin water. Mm. Oh, OK. When they see that, that type of situation where you get, you know, equity involvement in a company that sells like that, they go, wow, that was a phenomenal deal. Now, you can, you can write a whole lot of hit records. And you won't see that number. Mm-hmm. Wow. Your bank account won't see those numbers. You see what I'm saying? So it, you have to away from it, diversify, not just be. You know, look, superstars need budgets. Mm-hmm. The music business himself used to provide that budget because the income off of the CD was a huge. Like it was 90, 1999, and the, and the manufacturing cost of the disc was 82 cents. Right. Oh, shit. I forgot about that, too. 
You see what I'm saying? And and you know how much they was giving the artists. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They didn't, you know, with that, that if you didn't sell huge amounts of records and negotiate coming in the the, the greatest deal, you probably seen a dime off of the disc. Wow. 